the video today, I'm going to show you how to model a runner system in Advisor using both a cold and hot runner. Whenever you have your part imported into Advisor, you need to set your injection location. If you're not sure where to set it, you can do a gate location analysis and look at the gating suitability. Here you can see on this part that the blue is the best location to set one. If you want to see how a gating location will affect your fill pattern, you can use the fill preview. In order to use this, simply check Fill Preview, and Multilow will almost automatically update. You can even play through the results to see how the fill pattern will progress. This looks good, so let's go ahead and start building our runner system. First, what we're going to do is go up to the Geometry tab and change it from Part Only to Single Cavity. Next, you have to set your parting plane. So this is going to be where the end of your gate is, so keep that in mind whenever you set it. And next, you want to take a look at your mold size. So here, I'm going to keep mine the same, but if you want to change it, all you have to do is change the numbers and hit Apply. Next, if you change your gate, I want to change it to a hot runner. So I'm going to select it on the injection location 1 and change it to hot. I can change the gate shape to circular tapered. I'm going to leave it from a start diameter of 7 and an end diameter of 2. If you hit OK and apply, it creates this gate right on the injection location that you selected. This looks good, so let's go ahead and build a sprue off of this. Go up and click on sprue, and it automatically sets it to the middle of the mold, but I want to build it off of the gate that I just designed. So if we change the type, we can change it to a hot circular runner. I'm going to leave it at 7 millimeters. All you have to do is hit OK and apply, and it will build it right on top of the gate that we just created. There you have just a very easy way to create a hot runner right on top of the part that you just imported. Next we can go through and see what it's like to design a cold runner. The first thing I want to do is create another cavity. So if I highlight the part and change it from part only to multi-cavity, I can either translate or mirror the part, but I'm going to copy mine around 250 millimeters to the right. Now I have two cavities for my mold. Again, the first thing I want to do is set the parting plane, so I'm going to put it in a similar position than I did the last time. This time I'm going to have to adjust my mold size. So what I want to do is add a floating plate, because this will be a three plate mold. This looks pretty large, so let's scale back some of these plates. I'll change the A plate to around 20 millimeters and the floating plate to around 30 millimeters. That looks better. You can even go in and change your parting plane after you change your mold size. I'm going to bring it down a little bit. Next we can use the runner wizard to easily create a cold runner system. I like to start at the gate because I like to work my way up. So if we click on the type, we can change it to a cold, circular tapered gate. I'm going to leave it from 2.5 to 6 millimeters. If you hit OK, then you can go up and change your runner. You can click on the properties, but I'm going to leave it as cold circular, but you can change the runner shape to anything that you like. Next, let's work on the sprue. So if we go to the properties, this one will want to change to a cold, circular, tapered. And I'll leave it from 5 to 7. This time I'm going to keep it in the middle of the mold. So if we hit OK, it automatically builds the runner system for us using the wizard. You can even change the runners if you don't want them all to be the same size. So I can change this to be a circular, tapered, going from 7.5 to... 6 and hitting apply and then doing the same thing to the other side just by double clicking. If I wanted to make additional changes to the runner system but I wasn't sure exactly what to do, I could use a runner advisor or runner balance analysis. This can be used to view specific results that provide feedback on the size of the runners and you can automatically hit apply and it will change it for you.